What's going on everybody? Good morning. Welcome to Kalispell, Montana. Quick shout out to Pennswell for sponsoring today's video. So Christian, what is the plan for today? That's right, luckily we found a good charging station so topped off the battery because we have a hike. We are going clear across Glacier National Park. So I know that you guys will enjoy that ride but we are oh, hoping yeah. to end up at our aunt's cattle ranch up by Canada. So if everything goes right and we don't run out of charge, we should be at our Ants Cattle Ranch. There's gonna be a ton of fun stuff going on. And so we were about to leave. We were headed on the road. And this morning, all we saw running around were antique cars, left and right. And we're like, what the heck's going on? So we followed them. And would you look at this? There's some massive car show going on. So we're gonna show you this real quick and then we're gonna hit the road and get to Glacier National Park. Let's go. So here in Whitefish, Montana, we met up with our friend Jack and he offered to swap with us. <laughs> so we are driving his tricked out 7.3 power stroke. Oh wow. yeah, he this is, is like, in the Tesla. this is my dream truck. 7.3 power stroke, like an 02, one of the last years. 750 foot pounds of torque. Comment down below guys if you love diesel trucks, especially, what do you guys think? Duramax, Cummins, or power stroke? Everyone's got an opinion, so let us know. Give her a little. Give her a little gas. Here we go. First time ever doing a pull on a diesel. Oh Woo. yeah. Dang. And... Yeah, one more fun fact. We are hauling full fuel right now. And in a normal car, big deal. But in this thing, full fuel, means 800 pounds crazy. of diesel. Oh, oh boy. Oh my gosh. I think we took that up a That was fun. I think we took up a spot. All right guys, comment down below. Power Stroke or the others. I'm loving Power Stroke, especially the 7.3. That was so much fun. All right, let's go get some barbecue. Two hours later. What's going on vlog? A little update. So right now we are just moments away from entering Glacier National Park and going to the Sun Highway. We've been here when we we're younger, but we don't really remember it fully. So being able to see it again when we're older is gonna be awesome. So we'll take you along with us. Cue some beautiful cinematics of Glacier National Park. Hope you enjoy. Hello. Hi Welcome to Glacier. Thank you. Kirsch, what do you think? Unbelievable. I don't remember this. I don't remember this either. This is crazy. We are on autopilot in Glacier National Park. Christian, do you trust this when we're only five feet away from a 4,000 foot drop? Oh my gosh. All right, Christian, are you trying to tell me you're attempting to sled down the, the freaking iceberg with Absolutely. your little sheet of wax paper? 
Oh my gosh, why does this oh, seem like a bad idea? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Dang. For all of you who come to Glacier National Park, be sure to go to the block of ice, walk to the top of it, and then come right over here. I left my mark, okay? Come find it and send me a picture of it, if it's still there. Okay guys, slight problem again. So it says 78 miles of range, which is just enough to get us to our aunt's ranch, but then we just look down here, and it only says 24. That like won't even get us out of the park. So, yeah, we may be in trouble. All right guys, you see in this? This is Logan Pass, the Continental Divide, completely uphill, spending a thousand watt hours on average to completely downhill. Nothing but green, just downhill. We haven't, we haven't touched the throttle. Alrighty, we are closing in on the ranch here in Northern Montana. One quick note, we are only about nine miles away from the Canadian border. This is Canada up here. Alberta, so that's really interesting. I don't know, we may have to take a little trip up there, but anywho, Christian, you excited for the ranch? Absolutely. Nope, yeah. No service, of course, no radio stations, nothing. Just you and empty fields. Like, no trees, no nothing. Oh, but lots of cows. But cows, I forgot about the cows. Another cool thing is the ranch is right outside of Glacier National Park, so we were just in there. And one last fun fact, their driveway is six seven miles long. It takes 20 to 30 minutes to get to their house. This is their driveway. That's the road over there. Beautiful sunset. 30 minute driveway. So, I'll update you in 30 minutes when we get there. One more fun fact. Horses roam free on the ranch. We heard something coming. That looks like my Uncle Steve right there. Well, there you are. Who are you guys? Hello, huh? Who are you? Ranch hands, we're ready to work. The wild animals keep coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine deer, and we got a buck standing us down. What are you guys doing? Well, should we go cook supper or what? Shake. That's not shake. All right guys, just got changed into my ranch clothes and we have some objectives to take care of here on the ranch. Gonna take out the trash, gonna take, up some, take care of some other business. Before we go into dinner, we're gonna cover all those things. But now for the title of this video. See, see these coming in the screen? Yes. Our dream trucks. Woo. Oh my gosh. The 1994 Chevrolet 2500 with the 454 cubic inch big block. And then of course you got the Ram 3500 Cummins diesel. Ah, can't beat that. Before we get using it, we have to make sure it's in tip top shape and ready to rumble. Keep in mind, a lot of these 94 pickups burn through quite a bit of oil with higher mileage, so we already know it's gonna need oil. We already talked to Uncle Steve. So before we get going, we're gonna go ahead and add some Pennzoil to it. It's already got Pennzoil in it now, and we got an extra quart. So Christian, open that hood. <laughs> uh, that's the way we open it. All right. So we got a 454 cubic inch V8 Woo. Bald Eagles America. We're gonna go ahead and add the oil. It's, it needs about a quart or so. And just wanna say huge shout out and thanks to Pennzoil for sponsoring this video and making such an awesome product. It just goes to show, you can use this oil in Lamborghinis like we did on the last oil change, or you can use it in trucks. You can use it in variety cars and it will perform great. Christian, list a couple of performance specs about it. Cause okay, so up here toward Canada, uh, the cold engine start performance is really important. In the winter, it gets to like minus 20. So we're using the uh, Platinum Euro, which is the natural gas based oil. Full synthetic. So it has super good cold start characteristics. It flows really, really well at low temperatures. So. so it's perfect for this Montana climate. But okay, Christian, let's add her in and hit the road with this bad boy. Good deal. Boom, oil has been added, hood's going down. 
All right, let's go give you a tour of the ranch so you guys know the lay of the land for tomorrow's video. All right, Christian, throw those bags over. Bingo, so we gotta go take out the trash. Wait, just before we hop in, um, remember I said I'd give you a showing of the toys. So we have a total of four ATVs. There, there's one out in the field over there. And then we have this one Kubota 4x4. And then of course we got all the tractors and other trucks and semis and stuff and all that good stuff. Start her up. Oh yeah. There she is. All right, to some of you this may just look like some old beat up Chevrolet, but to us, it means so much more. This is the car we learned how to drive manual on when we were like, I was like 11 years old or something like that. And it has been in our memories for so long. When we went fishing with our uncle as little kids, we'd always take this truck and throw the boat on the back. So that is why it is definitely our dream truck. Like we've been saying many times, it'd be a tough toss up between gas and diesel, I'd say, because this is not diesel. Of course, like I just said, 454 big block gas engine. Now the Cummins, on the other hand, is a diesel. So it's hard to say which one we'd get. Truck is still running great with 160,000 miles. We're just driving up the road to hit the dumpsters for the trash in the back. So doing some chores before even our first night here. And did I mention this truck sounds amazing. All right, give it some beans, Christian. Whoa. What's new? Going to the dumpsters and there's freaking dozens of cows and horses around. Like, uh, what's up, man? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, okay, all right. That's right, clear the way. This dude's standing us down. He's got some horns. He means business. Chris, what if he rams us? Chill now. Gotta keep the 94 in good shape. Don't wanna get it rammed. All right, Christian's throwing out the trash. So addictive. All right guys, so we are back. We have a whole lot of fun stuff planned tomorrow, so stay tuned for next vlog whenever that comes out. But we need your guys' help, like seriously. Diesel, gas, older, newer. That's right, so I'm sure you can tell that why this is our favorite truck. It's got so much going for it, but do we need a new favorite? Is something more practical? Is there something better out there? Yeah, so we haven't told you guys yet, but we really wanna buy a truck, really, really bad. So for, you, those, for those of you who stayed to the end of this video, you get to know that and you get to help us decide which truck to buy. If we go diesel route, comment below whether you want Duramax, Cummins, or Power Stroke. I've been looking at a lot of Power Strokes, especially 7.3s. Those of you who know diesel trucks know the 7.3 is a great engine, but gasoline, just big displacement, big block. Sounds beautiful. I love this truck. I don't so, know, but you, you can mod diesels you, a lot more. Like, ah, I don't know. If you find a pristine one of these though, might be tough, but you can find one. So we need you guys' help. Something. Comment down below, especially if you know trucks. Let us know what you guys think. And once again, stay tuned for the next vlog. It's so good to be here. So beautiful, perfect weather. Perfect weather. It's actually pretty late, but the sun still lingers around and it's still pretty light. So anyway, I guess thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. We're going fishing. Bye.